Hi fellow enthusiasts, welcome to my channel. Let's go into today's video and we're gonna come back at the end to wrap it up. Here is the kit we'll be using for this project. It has a PCB, condenser microphone, power connector, audio connector, three transistors, one LED, bunch of resistors and capacitors, and of course, three inductors. One of them is a variable inductor responsible for controlling the frequency from 88 to 108 megahertz. This project will be powered between 3 volts and 6 volts, but today we'll be using 6 volts. So here I'm going to connect some of the components first just to test it out. And then after soldering, I see that they're okay, then I connect up the rest and solder them up. So here is the finished uh, soldering. Um, I will show you the circuit diagram shortly. Um, so the kit is complete now, we just have to test it. So I'm going to test it with 6 volt battery. So then I'm going to just, so that's the switch, you have to put it on. And I'm going to play this music from this computer. So I'm going to take the aux from here and then we will receive it on the other end. This is a software defined radio receiver for this project. You can see it is receiving at 107.855 megahertz. You can notice the spectrum. The other spectrums you see are for the transmitters around. But our project is right now on 107.8 megahertz. Now, this is the spectrum analyzer version of it right so we're gonna test interference as you can see as my hand is coming close there's little or no interference the frequency is fairly stable at 107.8 megahertz right so even though this transmitter is a voltage controlled oscillator based transmitter it is fairly stable you know for that you know with the presence of my hand and so when i pause the audio you notice the bandwidth is so narrow right and then when the audio is restored you can see the bandwidth increases remember fm transmitters have a bandwidth of 200 kilohertz so the carrier frequency is modulated with my audio signal and you get that wider bandwidth so this is really good Right, so as I increase the audio, the, the modulation increases. So try to avoid over modulation. So without the music, the spectrum is narrow, representing only the carrier frequency. But when I play the audio, you know, it will increase. But again, as I'm move, moving my hands closer and away from the transmitter, there's little to no interference noticed at all. So this is good. We'll be exploring this in the future. We'll try to use um, one transistor version of this. We'll try to make a one transistor version of this. You know, so as you can notice in this circuit diagram, the tank circuit is connected to the base of S9018. We'll try to do another project similar to this, but just with one transistor, and we'll use similar modulation, similar filters to see how it behaves. This is good, you know, with my hand coming closer and away, it is not affected, right? So if you're building wireless microphones, this might be a good way to go. Because as you're holding the microphone, there's little to no interference to your transmitted signal. Alright, thanks for sticking around to the end. That will be it from us today. Please, if you have not subscribed, do so right now and don't forget to like and share this video until we come your way again with more contents stay enthused